Hello everyone and welcome to another review. In today's video, I'm doing another customizers showcase. Uh, this work belongs to Jordan. I saw him post it up on one of the Marvel Legend UK groups and I thought it looked outstanding. Now it's on loan to me. I've got to send it back to him after this video is finished. Uh, he's actually made it as per someone's request and he's sending it out stateside. But lucky enough for me, I'm getting to take a little early look at it. This is something that he 3D printed, painted and fully made himself. And my goodness me, it looks outstanding. This is of course a Sentinel head designed to scale with the Marvel Legends and just look at that sculpt on there. Let's bring in some of our X-Men to give you an idea of how this fares. In my opinion, that is pretty spot on scale wise. It really reminds me of some of the old Toy Biz bases that we used to get. Here we like the Sentinel parts and I always kind of wanted something like this, some huge Sentinel robot that could actually hunt down the mutant menace. Taking a close look at all of the detailing, if you look really closely, you can make out that it's been 3D printed, but the finish is exceptionally well done. He sanded it all, painted it all up. I love the circuitry detailing on the side there. Just wished we'd got something like this officially. Now we have a sliding piece that comes out from underneath. Uh, we have the circuitry and wiring that we can display however we see fit. And we also have a switch on the inside as well, which when activated gives us some very menacing sentinel eyes. I just adore this battle damage and the purple that's being used. Absolutely gorgeous piece. It feels very professional. Uh, my wife absolutely adores it as well. She couldn't believe that it's uh, been made by an individual as opposed to a company. This is the sort of thing you would expect somebody like, I don't know, say Gentle Giant or Jack Specific, the ones that deal in those kind of bigger figures. It's something you'd expect them to make, uh, but really fantastic job. Looks like uh, the X-Men have uh, made short work of this one. If you've been following me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, you would have seen me messing around with this yesterday, taking some photos. It is such an amazing piece. I just love how it looks with those Jim Lee style X-Men. I was brought up on the X-Men cartoon. Uh, it was one of my favorite shows at the time. And seeing the X-Men squaring off against the Sentinels, and having this in hand, all of those memories came flooding back to me. Uh, absolutely blown away. I mean, if something like this could go to mass production, if a company out there could give Jordan the time and day to kind of get this mass produced, I think it would sell like absolute hotcakes. I mean, that would be the only way of getting the cost down, uh, maybe to make a mold or something uh, using his design and maybe rotocast it, uh, kind of make it uh, hollow and plastic. I think maybe that could possibly work because at the moment, obviously it's money out of his own pocket. It's all of his own materials. And I believe he said this is about 250, uh, including uh, labor, etc. So, I mean, it's a lot of effort. A lot of his time has gone into this, but this is definitely a true masterpiece and a showcase of talent. Uh, I'm very honored they'd let me have a mess around with it. Uh, I will be packaging this up and sending it back to him. But seeing this on the Legends pages, I just had to bring it to all of you Marvel fans out there. Just had to bring it to your attention because it's an excellent piece 
and we need this mass produced. Uh, Jordan, if you're listening, I will include a link to you in the description bar there. So if anybody does want to pay for something like this to be made from yourself, then, then I hope they can get in contact with you. I hope you've all found this video useful. Uh, if you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. And once again, I'd like to thank Jordan and the Marvel Legend UK community for making this review possible. Until next time, from myself and Jordan's outstanding Sentinel head, thanks for watching, goodbye.